Hey, this is Presh Talwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. I thank Esther from Hungary for suggesting this topic. Start out with the quadrilateral, where two of its opposite sides have the same length of x. Label the vertices A, B, C, and D. As typical with math diagrams, this diagram is not to scale. Let angle A be 90 degrees, and let angle B be 100 degrees. Now draw perpendicular bisectors for sides AB and CD and mark the intersection point as E. On AB, we'll draw the perpendicular bisector, and on CD, we'll draw the perpendicular bisector, and we'll mark the intersection point as E. Because E is on the perpendicular bisector of AB, it is equidistant to A and B. So these two sides will have the same length, which we'll mark as y. Next, because E is on the perpendicular bisector of CD, it is equidistant to C and D. So we'll mark these two sides with the letter Z. Now let's focus on one part of this diagram. The triangles EAD and EBC have three equal sides, so they are congruent. Thus angles EAD and EBC must have equal measure, and we'll mark those angles as alpha. Now let's focus on a different part of the diagram. Now triangles FAE and FBE have three equal sides, so once again they are congruent, and the angles FAE and FBE must have equal measure, and we'll mark them as the angle being beta. Now let's go back to our bigger diagram and the angles for A and B. By the given information, BAD is equal to 90 degrees and ABC is equal to 100 degrees. But we've just demonstrated that angle BAD is equal to alpha plus beta, which equals 90 degrees, and angle ABC is equal to alpha plus beta, which equals 100 degrees. Therefore, we've proven that 90 degrees is equal to alpha plus beta is equal to 100 degrees, and so we've shown that 90 is equal to 100. But this is an absurd result. So the question to you is where is the mistake in this seemingly convincing proof? Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So where is the mistake in this proof? To illustrate it, I'm going to scale the diagram down because I'm going to draw the perpendicular bisectors a little bit more accurately. We'll draw the perpendicular bisector for AB and then we'll draw the perpendicular bisector for CD. Notice they meet, but when we mark the point E, it's on the exterior of ABCD. The point E where the perpendicular bisectors meet is not interior to the shape ABCD. This is where the mistake in the proof originates. But why does this little detail matter? Well, let's connect E to A, B, C, and D. The consequence that E is on the exterior is that the steps where we found equal angles summing to 90 and 100 degrees were incorrect. Notice that ABC is not equal to CBE plus FBE, and BAD is not equal to EAD plus FAE. So our steps do not prove that angles BAD and ABC are equal, and therefore we cannot prove that 90 equals 100. This false proof demonstrates an important lesson. You have to be careful about assuming the location of a constructed point, especially with diagrams not drawn to scale. Did you figure out the mistake? Thanks for watching. These math videos, which can be watched for free on YouTube, inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they already have over 100 million views. Let's share the beauty of mathematics. With your help, we can math the world a better place. Please subscribe for free to get the newest videos, watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos, email me a puzzle or math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com, and if you so choose, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon, for exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.